was also the end of that project. Um, I didn't know how to approach literary agents and or publishers without a professional guiding me. And I tried, and it was just like I was banging my head against you know a wall. I was I got the best book since you know ever written. You need to guys need to read this and publish it. I just had no clue what I was doing. So I was burning bridges basically. So months and months passed. And I'm thinking this is, you know, I'm never going to be a published author now. And um, I started to think about other work opportunities. Um, I was readjusting to society after being out of England for 17 years and being in prison for six years was a bit institutionalised. So I was getting really more and more depressed and I was wondering what I was going to do. And out of the blue, I got a phone call from London saying I'd won first prize in the short story contest. My mum and a wonderful organisation called Prisoners Abroad had entered on my behalf when I was in prison that I'd completely forgotten about. The story was about, I had a, a manic um, phase in prison where I wrote a whole short story collection and this particular story was about what's called a, it was set in the super maximum prison, it, it's about what's <coughs> called a, a shit slinger. Now in the super maximum prison, because people can't um, resolve their disputes through their fists because everyone's locked in these cells, what they do is they use excrement as a weapon and they have these wars with excrement and they make guns using shampoo bottles and pens and all kinds of stuff to blast each other with excrement. That's how they do it in Super Maximum. For example, they'll make a blowpipe, take a chicken bone, put excrement on it, dart someone in the neck. The excrement will get in your bloodstream and it will really mess your immune system up. Up to two thirds of the prisoners had hepatitis C. So you, this is how they did it in Super Maximum. Um, if they want to make even more potent weapons, they'll leave the excrement in a mixture, in a concoction, until it starts to grow mold on it. And then that's supposed to be even even worse than the uh, just starting someone with regular excrement. There's all this stuff going on in the Super Maximum. I wrote about this in this short story about this guy who was a shit slinger and his dispute with an Aryan Brotherhood member. Anyway, it won first prize in this competition. It was a Hamish, Hamish Hamilton Award. And it was sponsored um, by the Kersler Trust. It was, it was a joint Hamish Hamilton Kersler Award. So this phone call from London, they said, yeah, you know, you won this first prize. We want you to come to London and read your story to an audience at the Royal Festival Hall. So that's what I did. I jumped on the train. Curse the trust paid my, for my train fare, and I went down there and I got to read it to an audience, and I got to meet all of the Curse the Trust staff. Now these are people that help prisoners pursue arts. Wonderful people. I met them all, and they said I told them, you know, where I was at in life, banging my head against the wall, depressed, not getting anywhere. I had this book, and they said, look, we have a program for prisoners whereby we have people who are, if you're a writer, we have published authors, published poets, artists, who are, you know, recognized artists, who will mentor you, who will come into prison and mentor you, or will actually mentor you after the prison, in my case, and help you, you know, whatever your goals are, if your goal is to make a career out of it, or if it's just for enjoyment, they'll help you, you know, further those goals. 